If you are looking at moving to Oshawa, specifically the Winfields community, uh, this video will go over a rental. And uh, the, the good thing about this video will actually show you uh, in that uh, 750 to 800,000 range, this is what it can get you if you're purchasing. But then also if you are looking at renting, uh, this one here is for rent and it's being in the process of uh, the landlord kind of uh, painting and just cleaning it up type of thing. Uh, so without further ado, let's just uh, get into it right after this. Hey, what's going on? It's Brad Gates and I am here to show you a rental. Uh, so uh, without jumping too much into it, uh, let's just uh, get into it. And uh, this is in Winfield's community and uh, it's gonna be available immediately. So if you are looking to move here, uh, this unit right here will uh, be available as a walkout, great view overlooking the pond. Uh, but then this whole kind of complex, uh, it's just surrounded by golf course and that's uh, in a great area close to everything. Uh, so let's just get into it. Uh, so this is the, uh, all the parking. Uh, it's golf course, all that around here. Uh, so these are the mailboxes. It has the zebra blinds throughout. Kind of everything. Uh, so it's an end unit. So you do have like tons of light, which uh, you'll be able to see when we are going through uh, towards the end of the street down there. They are putting in a, uh, a low-rise condo, uh, so that could be an option for you as well. Uh, so we do have single car garage and parking in the driveway for one spot. Uh, so as I said, you're getting in here early. It's not even being done painted or anything like that, but we will take you throughout. It's a great workout uh, walking here. There are three-story townhomes. Um, so you walk in, you're kind of on the basement level, so there's no level below this. Uh, tons of light, but I forgot to show you the garage. So this is the garage kind of as soon as you go in, this is where the electrical panel is. You can easily fit one car. Uh, you might even be able to fit a truck. Don't quote me on that. I've never tried to put mine in here, but uh, yeah, so that's the garage as soon as you walk in. You do have access to it, which a lot of people do like. Uh -huh. So you walk in, you have like a closet here, and then you have a walkout, which uh, most people I've seen kind of set this up as a uh, alternative TV room, rec center room type thing. This is the furnace room. Uh, so this is kind of like the cool stuff if you are looking at new homes. Uh, so it's got some neat stuff in here. So that thing down there is recovery ventilation and what that does is it just circulates the air when they were building these homes they built them so airtight that people were finding that mold was forming because there was just no air circulation where those things it does circulate the air so it's good for two things first of all bringing fresh air from outside in uh, also if you're cooking and it's something stinky like fish or uh, anything along the lines where it would have a strong food odor you can pop this on and by the end of the next day, uh, the smell has kind of gone through, uh, it's left your home, which is nice. This is the hot water tank. So this is where all of your hot water would kind of come from. And then this is the furnace. Uh, so furnace, when you have it, you do want to uh, change the filter there. Uh, that just allows uh, proper air circulation. So you'll never have to worry about your furnace breaking down or anything like that. Uh, when there are issues with furnaces, typically um, lack of airflow, and you look at the furnace filter, uh, it might not have been changed for a very, very long time. Uh, so that's one of the first things you can kind of look at. Uh, so there's just different angle of the room. Uh, if you are enjoying this, be sure to uh, like the video, subscribe it. Uh, that way you're up to date with all the videos as I release them. As I mentioned, you'll see some touch-up stuff on the walls there. Uh, it's just a work in the progress. So we walk up. There's no carpet in this unit. It's hardwood stairs and then laminate flooring. So again, tons of light. So this here would be like 
a dining room area. And then on the other side, over the years when I was here, when tenants were here, uh, this was the TV room. So it has like high ceilings. Uh, so one thing that you can note about that, and I will kind of show you what I mean here, is I can't touch the ceilings. So it's high ceilings, nine foot ceilings, typically eight feet I can touch. And you'll just notice it makes the house look quite a bit smaller. Uh, so it is an electric fireplace here. Let's see if it turns on. Oh, there we go. We have power. Uh, so it's just nice for the ambient lighting and mood setting, all that kind of stuff. So you walk towards the back and here you have your first bathroom. Just a two piece. So you have the toilet and the sink. So it's a decent size, not too small. Stairs going up. This is the kitchen, which has a walkout deck there. Uh, again, tons of light, super, super bright. And it's a great size kitchen. Um, so he's just good on that sense. So on top of all of the cupboard space you got, you also have this pantry and the pantries are phenomenal for extra food storage, uh, whatever you could kind of like to store, big pots. Uh, it's coming very, very handy. So now we're going up to the bedroom levels. Okay, so we'll go into bedroom number one. This is the bedroom one, decent size, nothing too huge, uh, but good size. Uh, you have a closet, not a huge closet or anything like that. And then, yeah, just kind of, that's the bedroom one. Now we are going into bedroom two. So again, another closet, and then just a little closet, and then a little kind of nook. I've, other than a little dresser, or chair, maybe a desk. You know, it's not too huge, uh, but it's a good size. Uh, it's eight foot ceilings up here. Hmm. So that's the stairs, that's the bathroom. Before we go to the bathroom, laundry. So you have a stackable washer and dryer. Uh, another little tip here is if uh, you do have stackables, you're going to want to leave the door open because if you close it, it will get that mildewy smell. Uh, so just kind of leave that open a little bit. And then this is your other bathroom. So this is the full bathroom with shower. So they call this a four piece. Uh, this would be one piece. That's two. And then that's three. And then up there with the shower head, that's four. So this would be a four piece. The primary has a five piece and you can kind of go over that. Uh, there's a little linen closet. Linen closet, super handy for towels, blankets, stuff like that. So this is primary bedroom, whole wall of windows. Uh, just kind of look around here. Uh, it's a big room and uh, has the bathroom and a walk-in closet. So the bathroom here, again, so first piece, second piece, third piece, fourth piece. So if this had a tub shower combination, this would be a five piece bathroom, but because it doesn't have the tub, it has the extra sink, uh, still four piece. And then the walk-in closet, not a huge closet, but decent size. And uh, it's pretty much the tour. So just kind of walk down. I always like giving the tour as you walk down because you got a picture in the morning if you were walking down for your coffee, everything like that. This would be kind of how you would do it. We'll just kind of go into the bathroom and finish it off. <laughs> so the video 
Uh, again, just to show a rental listing that is in Winfields. So if you are looking to move here and you're looking to rent, uh, this is a type of a rental property. If you are looking at buying a townhome and you're in that seven fifty dollars to $800,000 range, uh, this could be one for you. Uh, this does have a POTL fee, which stands for Parcel of Tide Land. Uh, I don't know the exact amount uh, right now, but it's between typically $100 to $200. And it just covers garbage pickup, snow removal from the actual road. Uh, if you have other questions, feel free to drop it in the comments below. Uh, you can reach out directly. All of my contact information is below. Again, my name is Brad Gates. I'm a local realtor here in the Durham region. And I absolutely love helping people that are looking to move here. So if you are looking to move here, all you have to do is reach out. And you can call, text, email, send the carrier pigeon. Uh, whatever is easiest for you and i'm here to make the whole move and relocation go so much easier be sure to check out the other videos on my channel there are a lot of them so give yourself uh some time to do so uh, some people uh enjoy them other people i guess not but uh, they're there and my earlier videos was a learning curve for me so please don't uh be too hard on me i do my best on this i hope you enjoy the videos thanks for watching until next time